hey guys it's me tiffany here welcome back to my channel today we're watching episode five of pip babe i am so excited for this episode because the preview was like all like gooey and like cute and like fluffy and stuff like that um babe and charlie were like giving kisses and everything i know that charlie uh babe got into an accident but like whatever happens between from like that the accident until like how they were kissing at the at the hospital i'm excited for excited for and i know that um Pavel and who I forgot for who else it was like in, a, in an interview is it Pooh? I don't remember who was next to him he was talking I thought probably it was Pooh but they were talking about how like from now on it's gonna be more like fluffier like their relationship is gonna be kind of like stronger or something like that and like one thing I was thinking about like coming in like we are episode five I forgot how many episodes there's like 14 episodes in the series I don't know how, long, how many episodes but like we are further into the series now I really hope and like because there's so many things like, there's so many factors involved right now already that I really hope that one thing that we don't have to worry about is their relationship. I want to see, like, I want something different. I want to see Charlie and Babe having this stronger relationship, connecting these two to become a powerful entity to combat their enemy. I know that Tony is probably going to be their the main villain of this series. But I think there's going to be a lot of other things going on, especially knowing that there's like mad, like not magic power, like superpowers involved now. And one thing I figured out, I, I posted it in my, um, in one of the, I think the, the description or the comment section of, of my video last, uh, earlier this week, that like Wei's character does have superpowers, similar to how Jeff has superpowers and similar to how like Babe has powers, Wei does have like kind of like mind manipulation or emotional manipulation and he's done it a few times that's what every time like you kind of see like char uh babe's reaction kind of change every time he touches way or way touches him and it's like oh maybe it's a manipulation and i know that way did come from the same same, same house that to tony adopted way as well so i feel like what tony is doing is he's adopting these kids with special powers and abilities to like create like one of the best like soldier or like best like powerful like right hand man and that's why he's so into babe is because babe has this best ability out of everybody i guess i don't know and he's able to be like the strongest i guess and then now that babe has left and ran away he's, he's kind of sad because he was a perfect the one that he was looking for and um so yeah so like, thinking about that i feel like charlie would have a power too we just haven't seen his abilities yet because if charlie has the same like kind of like story and like the reason who he's working for i feel like it has to be tony un unless he has found somebody else i don't know i've been talking too long oh i didn't finish what i was trying to say but like the fact that there's like powers now and then that tony is the, probably the big bat i want charlie and babe to be able to like like work together combat whatever way has whatever tony is gonna get against him and stuff like that and just a lot of other things as well i just feel like it would be cooler to see them working together and i really hope charlie does tell her the truth in some shape or f form so that they the trust between them is the powerful thing that's going to help them win against tony that's my hopes and theories but yeah so without further ado let's watch episode five <laughs> Wait, you're gonna regret telling him that they're, si they're siblings. Look at the smile! It's like, Charlie only has you, buddy. The staring. The intense staring. Ooh! You have to win the final. You should have died on 
excited. Okay, obviously. At first, when I heard that, like, oh, Dean is banned, I was thinking, like, maybe he was discovered to be the guy who cut the, the whatever whatever happened to Dave's car. But I don't think so. I think because he said the one week, I think he just got, like, really upset about him losing against Charlie that he just did stuff. But, um, yeah, um, and I know they're playing us with a, I don't want you to be my babe's boy anymore. You can ask him to be his lover obviously look at that's so romantic the car with them laying on the tracks romantic and then way i don't know getting friend zone seems pretty good for me just making sure he knows his place you know but yeah that's my reaction to this episode this episode is really interesting i'm very excited to see how the show is gonna go and i'm kind of nervous but like uh this kind of like wraps up like the introductions of all the characters i would say i feel like there's a few main characters because they're main care or more important characters especially the the children of tony or like the adopted children of tony we got obviously charlie and babe and then we got jeff way and pete and i'm guessing ben's character as well kim i'm not really sure about kim because i think the first few episodes second episode i think we saw tony like flip through a bunch of racers and he's like i want this person i feel like maybe it could have been like shown that like oh he knows who this is so he wants that person somebody like he is aware of to be the one who like is like going against babe and stuff like that maybe so like ben's character is i, think, I don't know i feel like he is is one of his kids but like not hard it hasn't been confirmed yet but like the other four uh, okay the three the other the three of them are confirmed obviously way no yeah way babe and pete Jeff and Charlie, it's alluded to that they are his kids as well because obviously Jeff having an ability very like very matches what Tony wants. Um but yeah, but like, just like the way they're working for and just the way he's saying like, oh I'll grow up alone and like they're like, I don't want you to suffer. Just like, the way that they're saying things does seem like he was part of this like um Tony thing. But yeah. Um, so we kind of introduced, we kind of ended, we not ended, but like we kind of introduced Pete's character a little bit more. It's like, oh, you got a lost story, so he's probably one of his kids and stuff like that. So yeah, excited to see how that episode's gonna go. But this episode was really interesting because we kind of like opened up the competition between Pete and Tony. I feel like there has been like kind of three dimensions to it. So obviously, Tony is the big bad, and then Pete, I think, is also plotting against tony he has his grudge to tony but i think his grudge he's gonna push use the efforts onto x hunter to babe to charlie to go against um tony i think that's that's where he comes into play he has the funds but also the anger towards t tony to help out x hunter and stuff like that i don't really know how things are gonna end i think it's too early to talk about that i think we're focusing more on that in the next few episodes gonna be focusing on Charlie and his his directions toward becoming a really great um, equivalent racer to Babe, and then we're gonna see them racing with um, Red Racing, and then we're and then I think more towards the end, maybe like episode nine ish. Uh, starting with episode nine, we're gonna get into the full like big storyline, the big uh, conflict, the main issue of the show so yeah um what else do i have to say way mm, i hate way because i feel like he's just so manipulative he's gaslighting people are saying that and I, I believe so that he's also has his power to manipulate emotions so i'm guessing i don't know i just like i feel like he has a connection with tony not outside of being the adopted son of him but at the same time like he's been working or maybe he's been sent by tony to like kind of watch out and like be a spy for Tony on Babe. It could be that. Or another one I thought of that I don't know. I don't know if just like it's, really, it's kinda like out of place is Way is just all jealous because he is just jealous. He just doesn't like people being around um being around um babe and he just wants babe for himself. But like the thing is like he wants for himself, that's kinda stupid. Then then why don't you go after him? He's been friend zone multiple times i think but at the same time maybe try a little harder i don't know uh, i don't know if i, if I want way to just be somebody who's jealous and like not have an alternative motive or does something else that's really bad and not connected to tony because i feel like that's like 
why are you adding another storyline and the show has been really pretty well written so it's like i think there's a meaning on why way is acting the way he is but y'all other than that i don't want much to say anything um babe and charlie's relationship got a lot better like just have to clear up with jeff like he was just jealous he was just jealous of jeff and and it's like once he knows that like he trusts charlie again i really hope that like i don't know how it's gonna be like like just we know charlie still has his plan and everything i just don't know exactly how that's gonna go if that's gonna like really break their relationship so i i, I want charlie i don't want babe to be the one who like finds out about charlie's plans i want charlie to tell him i feel like that's gonna be a lot better if you know what i mean but yeah a lot of cute fluffy moments this episode excited for jeff and alan's fluffy moments next episode but yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching please like comment subscribe follow me on my social media links down below see you next time bye